Wrestling is a tough sport. You know, you go out there, there's one other person, they weigh the same as you, so there's no excuse. And then you are out there attempting without injuring the other person to fairly have a victory. And so I just love contests like that. Hi, Michael Crow, president, Arizona State University. My parents were teenagers who ran away and got married and got pregnant. And then uh, I was born in San Diego after my dad joined the Navy. We moved a lot, went to 17 schools before I graduated from high school. Sadly, our, our mother passed away along the way. So we all got split up for a while and then brought back together. So lots of moving, lots of adaptation. I was uh, like a weird kid. So I was working on my Eagle Scout project in 1968. We had just moved from Norfolk, Virginia, where my father was stationed to Patuxent River, Maryland. A bunch of us put together a, uh, an Eagle Scout project to deliver uh, enough food for one family for one year. And we get the name of the family. We go over there on Christmas Eve, 1968. We deliver this, this food to a family that lived in, a, in what turned out to be a tar paper shack with a dirt floor, no electricity, outhouse, the whole thing. And everybody was happy, but I was just astounded uh, later. In fact, it impacted everything that I did after that. We went home and then sat down that night and watched uh, Apollo 8 circle the moon and I realized that something was wrong. We had some kind of gap. I have a beautiful view of the S-4B and the uh, Earth here all in one. I'll try to get a picture for you. From about that point forward, I started thinking about how do you help make things, technology things or science things that, that can be uh, helpful in building a, a world that's a little bit more fair. By the time I went to college, that's what I started focusing on, was uh, what, what, what I ultimately became at Columbia University, a professor of the design of knowledge enterprises, the design of enterprises that produce social outcomes, uh, economic outcomes, uh, military outcomes, uh, all using knowledge creation as the method to do that. I read uh, a few books that people just saying, we've got to figure out how to build new kinds of universities that are more egalitarian, more research discovery driven, more impactful, lower cost, better run, and so uh, uh, this job came open, and this is what the people in Arizona wanted, so it was like a marriage made in heaven. The vision for the ASU as the new American university is that it's highly egalitarian. It admits every qualified student. It helps people who are not qualified to get qualified. It helps you to finish college if you weren't able to go, if you couldn't go. Arizona is this new state, this highly innovative place, highly uh, independent-minded place. And so we've also built a university that's highly entrepreneurial, highly enterprising, unbelievably innovative, unbelievably creative to achieve all these things. And so we've made all those things happen in a way that uh, we've constructed this new kind of model. We're not gonna make any progress in our country if we, if we, if we think that fear is our motivation. Our motivation uh, uh, should be those things that we aspire toward. And so there are in Arizona, the Center for the Future of Arizona, which my wife is the CEO and the president of, uh, they identified nine or 10 unbelievably uh, powerful things where most Arizonans, more than 70%, have agreement. And so it's not that there's all this disagreement, there's actually tons of agreement, you know, jobs with dignity for all, with pathways to education, healthcare that's affordable for everyone, clean air, blue skies, clean water. 90% of the population want all that. Every single day I wake up and I am ready to go. I never, I never carry any of the weight of the previous day. I did the best I could do. If I got it wrong, I'll try to get it right. If I made a mistake, let's fix it. If I if I hurt someone's feelings, tell me, I'll apologize. I'll try to, I'll try to amend my errors, whatever they are. I also get energy from you know, the, just the vibrancy of life, the beauty of where we are here in Arizona. It's unbelievable. I went for a hike this morning just as the sun was coming up in the North Phoenix Mountain Preserve, and, and you know, it's unbelievably beautiful. And you get a chance to be here and to live with that and be a part of that, I mean, fantastic. I'm not big on legacy. What I hope that people can do is they can say that uh, Arizona State University and all the things that we've been able to do here as a team as, and as a group uh, is more impactful for my children and my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, my great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren. And the world's a better place because the university found ways to reach more people, connect to more people, link to more people, solve more problems, move us forward, help our democracy to be successful. I'd be happy with saying, yeah, he was a part of that.